This bloke writes gorgeous songs on the guitar, and I say bloke because he's from the UK, and that's a sign of respect. Coming to you live, my name is Kyle Scott. Welcome to my channel. Have you heard Novo Amor's music? It's mind-blowing. It's tranquil. It's emotional. It'll make you feel small in a great big universe. Leave a comment if you agree with what I'm saying. His name is Novo Amor. That's his musical name. His real name, the name his mother gave him, is Ali John Meredith Lacey, which is a mouthful, and I can see why he changed his name to Novo Amor, which means something like new love, which is poetic and romantic and beautiful. I'm gonna play you some bits and pieces of Novo Amor's music right now because I want you to be as hyped as I am and have been for a while now. That's the whole point of this video, just to make you fall in love with his music the way I am. Just listen to this. Guitar is chunking. This is actually the first song I ever heard by Novo Amor. It's called Alps. I immediately became a fan. The lush vocals, the swelling, the little chunky guitar in the background, the rich harmonies. It really is beautiful. You can't possibly deny it. And not only that, that was the first chorus, but he's so good at building a song to crescendo. That part I played you was the very first chorus. Listen to the power, the waves crashing on this last chorus. How good is that? This next one is another really good one. It's highly underrated. Listen to this. Hard. There's definitely a couple guitars in that intro maybe more and that's another thing that makes his music so fascinating so often he makes it feel intimate and close like it's just one instrument playing for you in a warm dimly lit room when really he's layered these three guitars and a banjo you know whatever it is but they're so tightly wound together that you can't really tell that it's all happening this next one has an awesome music video about taking care of the ocean respecting the planet that god has given us it's called birthplace Well, the ocean. Could easily be a soundtrack for a, mu a movie. It's, it's just beautiful. It sounds like Finding Nemo or something. The whole video is really amazing. The, deep, the guy is underwater for like a super long time and it's pretty amazing. You should go check it out. This next one is probably my all time favorite of his. Highly underrated. It's called Colorway. There's that acoustic. I love this first first line coming in. Oh, ooh, he does that a lot. A lot of those slidey guitars in this first line here. And the chorus of that one is so good too, but I'm going to let you listen to it on your own. I love that first line. I'm breathing black and white. That's so good. Now, if you happen to be a guitar player and you want to learn how to play this song, I've actually made a tutorial for it. It's on my channel. You can go learn it there. It does use an alternate tuning, so you'll have to, you'll have to get used to that. You may be interested to know that he actually uses alternate tuning in almost all of his songs. I've learned that 
just by trying to learn a fair amount of them, a handful of them, and none of them were in standard tunings, the ones that I looked at. Alternate tuning, for those of you who don't know, is when you take a guitar which usually has the six strings in E, A, D, G, B, E, and you tweak a couple of them to, you can get some unique sounds out of it if you do something like that. So Novo Amor, part of the reason maybe his songs are so special is because his guitar tunings are always different than the, the usual. It takes a little more time. A lazy guitarist would not be interested and sometimes I feel like that. I don't want to try diff tuning my guitar differently because I can only use it for that one song. Uh, but Novo Amor does it a lot and it gives him a very fresh and unique and warm sound. So if you're a songwriter, experiment with tweaking your guitar tuning and see if you can get some special sounds out of it by taking that route. That's what Novo Amor does and it works pretty well for him. Even if you've never heard of Novo Amor, you might have heard this next song. It's his most popular on Spotify. It's got over 400 million plays at this point. It's really beautiful and it also has a very clever music video about a girl mermaid who begins relationship with a guy human type thing. Uh, so here's a clip of the video. Again, alternate tuning. That low ball. You can't get that on a normal tuning. Such a great opening line, again, took the breath from my open mouth. Note to songwriters, make your first line kick, make it pop. Good melody, good lyrics. I also teach that song, Anchor, on my channel, so you can go check it out there if you want to learn how to play it. Very useful for those of you who are guitarists. I got a couple more songs for you, although he has tons of good ones that I won't be able to mention here. This next one that I'm about to play is called Opaline, and it's actually one of his piano-based ones. He does have a fair amount of those. Check this out. I love that melody. That I'll finish here with one off his newest album, my personal favorite. The whole album is a little more experimental in terms of sounds. It's got more like tweaky strings and lo-fi piano stuff going on than the other stuff. Not as much of the warm guitar, uh, which I kind of missed, but still some gems on this album. This is my favorite. It's called Years On. Then I wouldn't sit back and lose If I gotta be I played that part a little ways into the song because I love the layered vocals. I love layered vocals, harmonies and stuff. I'm a sucker for them and I know that you are too. Hopefully you can see from all those samples that Novo Amor is the real deal and he needs a little more love. He's a darn good guitar player, a master melody songwriter. Go listen to his music. If you want more music breakdowns, guitar lessons, etc., go check out my incredible music channel, Kyle Scott Music. This was Kyle Scott coming to you live. I'll see you on the next video.